Hi there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies, and I just wanted to share something I've come up with. Uh, recently, I was reflecting on how a couple parts of my work intersect. Uh, many of you have heard me talk about the artist versus the entrepreneur as uh, two main archetypes or dynamics in business. And you've also maybe heard me in my starter kit talk about uh, collapse, posture, and composure. And if you haven't, just check out the starter kit, uh, marketingforhippies.com slash starter dash kit, uh, and you'll be able to get your own copy of it. But I wanted to show how these go together and what this says about uh, probably where you are here. So the artist is the, the one that wants to just do stuff. You know, they, they, they've got ideas and they, they're moved by their muse. They want to create something. They want to put something out in the world. They're usually pretty clear about what it is and how they want to do it. And the entrepreneur has a different dynamic where they're looking at what's the underserved marketplace, uh, what's a need. It needs to be filled <coughs> you know your entrepreneur friends or that part of you is that part of you that always knows this man somebody can make a fortune doing this right they're always seeing these opportunities out there they're not always good at acting on them but there's a capacity to see it uh yeah when somebody's collapsed they make themselves very small don't take up a lot of space apologizing a lot over giving uh that's collapse and posture is people who puff themselves up. Think most politicians. It's a sort of fake. This is a, the, a lot of people's challenge with the mainstream sleazy uh, marketing, <coughs> excuse me, and sales world. Heavy on the posturing. Fake it till you make it. Just pretend. There's a lot of this glam uh, that's fake, and we know it's fake. Or we don't, and we find out later. So... How do these combine? Well, of course, you've got the collapsed artist here, and you've got the collapsed entrepreneur here. And so hopefully you, you get a sense of how these would combine. If somebody's a collapsed artist, oh, I make all this beautiful stuff, but who would want it? And I, you know, I, I don't want to burden anybody with it. And the collapsed entrepreneur is, oh, I've got this idea, but I mean, somebody else has probably thought of it. And again, I don't want to be a burden and, and maybe I should just help people with it. I'll just do it for free, that kind of thing. Then you've got the posturing artist. And the posturing artist, you know, my art is the greatest. Nobody else understands art like I do. They make themselves very big. They create a really large personality for themselves. That seems like confidence, but it's really a overconfidence. And then you've got the posturing entrepreneur. And of course this is what most people come to me wanting to avoid. I do not, and the way it's said is, I just don't wanna be like that person I see on Facebook. And those Facebook ads, oh God, I'd never wanna come across this way as the posturing entrepreneur. So let me know in the comments below if that's true, if I nailed it. Um, and most of you watching this video, you are here. You're not here. Most of you watching this are artists more than your entrepreneurs, meaning your, <coughs> your center of motion comes from being inspired about what you've got this healing art, you've got this coaching business, you've got this work that you wanna do. Can't I just do the work and somebody else does the marketing for me? Can't I just get out there and, and help people? That's the collapsed artist, you know? So that's where most of you are. You're not the collapsed entrepreneur, probably. Uh, this is who I see in my workshops all the time. Artists who are collapsed. So then but there is this third realm of composure, which I don't look at as a, um, it's not your lack of confidence or you got a overconfidence. You're just comfortable in your own skin. My work, the thing I aim at is this. Is a marriage between the artist and the entrepreneur. The entrepreneur, you know what I'm trying to spell. A marriage between the artist and the entrepreneur. Yeah, and it's it, it's not here. The work I'm offering is not in any of these two columns. P 
posturing doesn't work. You know that because it turns you off. But collapsing doesn't work either. And this seems more noble. I get it. This column seems like, oh, I'm just so long suffering and it's noble to just give and give and to be a little collapsed. And it can seem like humility, but it's not. It's a real, it's a fake humility because I'm hoping everyone's going to notice how humble I am, how much I give. Thus, I resent it and I feel bitter. So my work is not in these two columns. It's over here. And my work is not choosing between these two. It's marrying these two. And your business is the child of that marriage. And like any marriage, you've got two very different people here. They're driven by different things. They have completely different interests and different agendas. But different doesn't mean bad. Different doesn't mean enemy. Yeah? Different doesn't mean one has to obliterate the other. It means it is the differences that generates the fertility of the thing. But these are fertility killers. Collapse and posturing are the pesticides of your mind uh, and your soul. You cannot be generative when you're either one of these. So that's what I'm aiming at. So if you're interested in this kind of work, check out my website, marketingforhippies.com, or I got a bunch of other free videos. Um, but marketingforhippies.com, you can check out the starter kit where I really dig into the mechanics of, of all of this. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. It's a new way of mapping this out that I've never done before. Uh, so in the comments below, if you like this video, please share it around. Uh, it's a big help for me. And of course, hit the red subscribe button, the bell icon, and you'll be notified whenever there are new videos that come out. Thanks to everyone who does share these videos already. And uh, you can also find me on Instagram at Marketing for Hippies. That's all for today.